I'm Rob Wood. I'm Christy Casciano, and we begin tonight with an ABC News exclusive. A Chicago woman alleging she was secretly recorded while showering at a Hampton Inn and Suites in downtown Albany and then blackmailed. One of the biggest hotel chains in the world is facing a $100 million lawsuit after a woman claims one of its unidentified employees filmed her in the shower in order to blackmail and extort her. The woman, whose face is not shown to protect her identity, says she fears for her safety after she says she was recorded without her consent while taking a shower in Hilton's Hampton Inn and Suites in downtown Albany back in 2015. In a newly filed lawsuit, the Jane Doe alleges she did not realize she was recorded until this September when she says she received an email with a link to her shower video on an X-rated website, her full name in the video's title, and a message reading, this is you, right? All I could think was my life is over. <laughs> You know, if this gets out, my life is absolutely over. According to the complaint, the next day the extorter threatened to post videos of her on other sites unless she sent a new private video in exchange. You have until midnight to send me something good, or I will post videos, your name, info everywhere. Then I send to people you know. You can enjoy being famous. She alleges when she did not respond over the next couple of weeks, the extorter posted the video on more sites and then created an email address using her name and emailed the video to her friends, family, and colleagues. Along with this message that read in part, Dear friends, I am trying to recruit some friends to help out a friend's art project for which I got to be the model. It's a little daring. Let me know what you think. It was just absolutely traumatizing. Because these are people I went to law school with, their friends, their coworkers, and they're sent a link to what looks like an, an email I sent. She alleges the person then sent another email demanding she send thousands of dollars to a Bitcoin address in exchange for pulling the video. You're buying peace. Easy, right? You don't go into a hotel room and think that something like this can happen to you. And it happened to me. And if we can spare one more person from this happening to, that would be make it worth it. And now she thinks that she might not be the only victim. We've investigated extensively kind of as far as we can go without Hilton's help at this point. And that investigation has revealed that there is at least another victim. A spokesperson for the hotel responding overnight, telling ABC News the safety and security of our guests is our highest priority. We will continue to work with the authorities to discover the perpetrator and see that she, he, is held accountable. The hotel says it recently underwent a complete renovation and that during that process, no recording devices of any kind were uncovered.